Here's a new episode of Medicine in 3 minutes. We go straight to the point. The subject is bravely made clear and often illustrated. Let's start. Today's topic is drug induced systemic lupus erythematosus. It is estimated that up to 10% of lupus may be drug induced. Here are the most evident associations. Anticonvulsivant, quinidine, propylthiouracil, sulfonamide, lithium, beta blockers, nitrofurantoin, sulfazalazine, GTAZE, hydrazine, interferon gamma, and TFN inhibitor. But the most important drug are hydralazine, isoniazid, procainamide, quinidine. Hydro hydralazine is an antihypertension drug used during pregnancy. Isoniazid is an, uh, an anti-tuberculosis. Procainamide is an anti-arrhythmic SVT and ventricular arrhythmia. Quinidine is an anti-arrhythmic. What they have in common is though they end use lupus, giving arthritis, fever, but no systematic manifestation. There are Evidence of anti-histone antibody, and the diagnostic is by stopping drugs that lead to resolved symptoms. I repeat myself: hydralazine is anti-hypertension using during pregnancy. Isoniazid is an anti-tuberculosis. Procainamide is SVT, ventricular arrhythmia, quinidine is anti-arrhythmic. All these drugs they have in common, arthritis, fever, but no systemic manifestation. We found anti-histone antibody, and the diagnostic is by stopping drugs. When we stop drugs, stomp resolve. What about hydralazine? 50% may develop ANA. Antihistone in 95%. Anti DNA are usually absent. Thank you for watching this episode of Medicine in 10 Minutes. Would you like to click the like button and subscribe? We are waiting for your comment if you have some. See you later. Thank you.